Hey guys, generic username here. I'm back again with another Commander Legends booster pack opening. Um, last time we actually managed to pull a uh, hole preacher, and yeah, that was pretty exciting. Um, so, well, let's see what we can get this time. Maybe we'll finally get that Lotus. All right, so I ho diggity and away. All right, open. Got it. So pro. All right, get rid of that. All right, so uh, just for luck, let's uh, bless this pack and let's go into it. Big money, no whammies. All right, so let's see. All right, so our first card here is Sailor of Means. Two and a blue. When it enters the battlefield, create a treasure token. He is a 1-4. Doomed Traveler. Sing for a single white. Human Soldier. When Doomed Traveler dies, create a 1-1 one, one white spirit creature token with flying. He is a 1-1. One, one. I remember back when this was printed from original Innistrad. Uh, he was part of some like really cool like aristocrat decks. Actually, one of the best decks in the format was aristocrats with Falcon Falconrath or aristocrat, and I think they ran this as a playset. It was a cool deck. I, it was very had a lot of value behind it. So yeah. All right. So our next card is Valakut Invoker, two in a red. Human soul. Human shaman has eight mana. It invoker deals three damage to any target, so eight mana to do a lightning bolt. Oh, and then he's a two three. Hmm, such a value. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So let's see. Preordain. A blue sorcery. Scry two. Then draw a card. And honestly, I do feel as though this probably could be unbanned in modern, and modern would not be broken in half. Granted, Modern also has its other issues of cards that should be banned. Cough, cough, Urza. Cough, cough, Uro. But, yeah. But, in all honesty, I feel as though they could unban this. I don't know. If you guys disagree with me, just feel free to say so in the comments or something like that. Alright, so let's see. We got Soul's Might. Four and a green. Sorcery. Put X-1-1 one, one counters on target creature where X is that creature's power. Cool. So, a quick buff. It's from Alara. I love Alara. Love this card. I like the cat. She's like, oh, I'm angry. I'm angry kitty. Meow. <laughs> Alright, so next one here is a Slith Ascendant. One and a double wipe. Slith, flying. Uh, whenever Slith Ascendant deals combat damage to a player, put a 1-1 one, one counter on it. And it's a 1-1, one, one, as is the whole cycle. Pretty much the whole cycle, I think, is like what? It's a... Uh, the whole cycle actually is designed to be one double color, and then have a keyword, and then have this ability on it. So, yeah, it, I thought it was a kind of a cool cycle. I I really wish I remember what all the entire cycle did. I think the red one had fire breathing, which was really cool. Anyways, um, so here we are. Is a uh, not Lana War. <laughs> Just kidding. Finhorn Elves. It's a single green. Tap to add a green. He's an Elf Druid, for, and he's a 1-1. One, one. Yeah, like I said, he's literally just a lot of more elves. So, and lot of more elves is good. So, therefore, he good, right? That makes yeah transitive property or something like that. Anyways, uh, so let's see, our boy Flashbag Marauder. <laughs> oh, he's a classic. Two and a black zombie warrior. When he enters the battlefield, each player sacks a creature. He's a three one. Now. I think he's from Alara too, like original shards of Alara. So I don't know. Yeah, I don't. I, yeah, I was either that or the core set that was right before it. I want to say Alara, but I might be wrong. Someone just correct me down below. In the of course in the comments. I mean, where else? <laughs> All right. So the next card, Anointer of Valor, five and a white angel. That's flying. Whenever this creature attacks, you may pay three. When you do, put a 1-1 one, one counter on that creature. So yeah, he pumps he pumps guys when they attack. So yeah, gives you something to do with that mana in late game, which is good, which then eventually creates inevitability. And eventually you will get through, unless they're running like stupid amounts of interaction. Like they have 20 Doom Blades 
and then you ask him why you have 20 Doom Blades. Isn't is the max you're supposed to be four? Or in Commander, you just go like, dude, why do you have so many Doom Blades? There's better options. <laughs> Sorry, I'm segueing, guys. <laughs> All right, so the next card is Scrounging Bangar. It's for a one and a green. He's a Cat Munker. When he enters the battlefield, or he enters the battlefield with two 1-1 one -one counters on him. At the beginning of your upkeep, you may move any number of 1-1 one -one counters from uh, Bangar onto another creature. He's a 0-0, zero -zero, but he comes with 2, so he's effectively a 2-2. Two -two. Yeah, he's a... Uh, so effectively, yeah, he just graphs on upkeep. That's kind of cool. Alright, next card. Commander Sphere. 3 mana, artifact. Tap to add 1 mana of any color in your commander's color identity. And then you may sack it to draw a card. Cool. Trusty Pack Beast. Two and a white. It's a beast. When it enters the battlefield, return target artifact card from your graveyard to your hand. So yeah, you can you literally sack this Commander Sphere after you sack a card. You sack it, and then you go ahead and play this. And then you go ahead and bring it back to your hand and recast that card. And then sack it again. That's value. Ugh, I hate Commander Sphere. <laughs> Alright, so that was all the commons. Now we're on to the uncommons. Make a stand. Two and a white. Instant. Creatures you control get one nothing and gain indestructible until end of turn. For a moment they stood tall. All fear forgotten. I like the art. It's kind of cool. Yeah. You make it a big old bubble. It's like the bubble shield from Halo. Except he's shooting lightning from a hand. Is, he, is that lightning? I'm gonna say it's lightning. So, yeah. Cool stuff. Pen and Blade. Three mana. Artifact equipment. Equipped a creature gets 1-1 one, one for each creature you control, and it's equipped for four. Okay, so it's like, uh... I was gonna say, like, coat of arms, but, like, it's not really that. <laughs> so you go wide, you get this equipment, throw it on your creature, you get big. You got a chonky boy to get in there. Nice. Alright, so... Volcanic Torrent. Four and a red. Sorcery? With Cascade! And Volcanic Torrent deals X damage to each creature and Planeswalker your opponent's control, where X is the number of spells you've cast this turn. Okay, so you can cast this. It'd be one. And then you Cascade as soon as you cast this, so you'll cast another spell. So at the very least, this does two. Two damage to a creature or Planeswalker. Oh, to each creature in Planeswalker. Okay, so it's even better than that. Okay, cool. I thought it said only. I said it said only to a creature or planeswalker. So it's every single one. That's that's cool. I like that. Okay, so I think we're on the rare. And the rare is <gasps> Shaw's Will. Four and a black. Instant. Choose one. You, If you control a uh, commander as you guess this spell, you may choose both. Ooh, baby. Each opponent sacrifices a creature they control with the greatest power. Exile all creatures from all opponents' graveyards, or all cards from all opponents' graveyards. Then create X-01 Black Thrill Creature Tokens, where X is the greatest power among creatures, or creature cards exiled this way. Cool. Yeah, for five mana, let's see. So it's a mass sec, so it's a mass uh, uh, edict. Or a joke bog, and then create zero ones. Eh, I don't know. For five minutes, I feel like I can get something better, but it's cool. I like it. I like it to a point. I mean, I, wish, I kind of wish this was Shaw instead of Shaw's Will, but, you know, beggars can't be choosers. Still a cool card. I, I really did like that they uh, were trying with the cycle to, like, give give all the colors something cool. All right, so we're on to our Legendaries. Let's see, this is Jury. Master of the Rave? Review? I don't know how to say that. For a black and a red. Legendary creature, Human Shaman. Whenever you sacrifice a permanent, put a 1-1 one, one counter on Jury. When Jury dies, it deals damage equal to its power to any target. What a show! We're going to make it a killing tonight. Ha. That's a play on words. And he's a 1-1. One, one. Okay, so he's definitely for aristocrats. Is that like the black-red, like, archetype? So, 
that's supposed to be like aristocrats or something. I don't know. Okay, moving on. So the other one is Tormod, the Desecrator. Three and a black. Zombie Wizard. When one or more cards leave your graveyard, create a tap 2-2 black zombie creature token. And he has partner. He's a 4-2. This one's actually a cool one. I like this one. Because you can just literally throw all a bunch of cards in your graveyard and then you just go, Jukabog, they're gone. I got a crap ton of 2-2s. Come at me, bro. So yeah, that's kind of cool. Yeah, he's uh Yeah, I also like the fact that he like synergizes well with Tormont's Crypt. So it's like such a flavor. Uh, such good flavor there. All right, and then our foil is... <gasps> it's Slithy Boy. Nice. <laughs> this actually might go in my cube. I kind of like this. I like this card a lot. Oh, I got another card behind it. That's cool. I have no idea what it is, but I'll know in a second. All right, and what's my card behind it? <gasps> the Viper! Yeah, baby, the Viper! And whatever the hell this is. Yeah, whatever, I don't care. Yeah, the Piper! All right, <laughs> we're done with that. <laughs> okay, so yeah, not a, not a whole lot exciting out of that, but you know, not every pack is gonna be exciting. It is what it is. Still, so, kind of a cool rare. All right, guys, that's all I have for that's all I have for today. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, be sure to leave me a like and subscribe. All right. Other than that, I will catch you guys next time. Peace.